Hi, welcome friends. In my last lecture, I have explained the concept of random variable and probability mass function. So in this session, I will explain the concept of probability density function and cumulative distribution function and properties. So first of all, what do you mean by probability density function? So as you know that probability mass function, it is a probability distribution of a discrete random variable. On the similar manner, probability density function, it is the probability distribution of a continuous random variable. So any function f of x is said to be a probability density function. In short form, it is called as PDF of a continuous random variable if it satisfies the following postulates or conditions. So while discussing probability mass function, we have defined the function as P of x. So here we have defined the function as f of x. So both P of x or f of x, it indicates the probability distribution. So any function f of x is said to be a PDF if it satisfies the following conditions. So first condition or first postulate is f of x value greater than or equal to 0 for all the values of x. So since it is a continuous random variable, x lies between in an interval, generally minus infinity to plus infinity. And the total probability, so total probability in terms of integral, so minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx, that should be equal to 1. So if these two conditions are satisfied, then the function f of x is called a probability density function. You can verify whether the given function is a PDF with the help of an example. For example, examine whether the following function is a PDF. So function is f of x is x into 2 minus x where x lies between 0 and 2. So obviously 2 minus x it is greater than or equal to 0 for all the values of x. So x is in between 0 to 2. So for any value of x in between 0 and 2 the function 2 minus x that is equal to that is positive. So for all the values of x over 0 comma 2. Also if you integrate 2 minus x dx then it becomes integral 0 to 2 2x minus x square dx so that it becomes 2x square by 2 minus x cube by 3 so and if you substitute the upper and lower limit as 0 and 2 then on simplification we get 4 by 3 4 by 3 which is not equal to 1 therefore 4 by 3 is 1 point something so which is not equal to 1 therefore f of x is not a pdf next one distribution function or another name is called as cumulative distribution function of x so distribution function of a random variable x is denoted by f of x capital letter f of x which is defined as probability x less than or equal to x. So capital X means random variable, small x means value taken by the random variable. Suppose if x is a discrete random variable, then the function is given by f of x that is equal to probability x less than or equal to x. So how to find out probability x less than or equal to x? So probability x less than or equal to x means sum of the probability distribution of x that is summation t less than or equal to x f of t for x lies between minus infinity to plus infinity where this f of t is called as probability distribution of x at the point t so is called the distribution function of x on the similar manner if x is a continuous random variable 
then the function is given by f of x that is same as probability x less than or equal to x so that is equal to integrate f of t dt for x lies between minus infinity to plus infinity and what is the limit of integration means integral from minus infinity to x why it is minus infinity to x means you, are, you have defined probability x less than or equal to x means maximum limit of x is small x so that is why upper limit is x lower limit is given in the interval that is minus infinity so that is why probability x less than or equal to x means integral from minus infinity to x f of t dt so is called the distribution function of x therefore distribution function is defined by the same formula f of x is probability x less than or equal to x both in case of discrete random variable as well as continuous random variable but in case of discrete random variable probability x less than or equal to x that can be written as summation t less than or equal to x f of t whereas in case of continuous random variable summation is replaced by integration so that is integral minus infinity to x f of t dt there are different properties of distribution function if x is a discrete random variable or continuous random variable with distribution function f of x satisfying the following conditions the first condition is that f of minus infinity equal to 0 and f of plus infinity that should be equal to 1 means distribution function at minus infinity that is 0 and distribution function at plus infinity that value is 1 second one if a less than b where a and b are any two real numbers then f of a is less than or equal to f of b and third one f of x is a non-decreasing function so what do you mean by non-decreasing function means that means if x1 and x2 belongs to the r such that x1 is less than x2 then f of x1 means distribution function at x1 which should be less than or equal to distribution function at x2 and next property is that probability a less than x less than or equal to b suppose if you want the probability where x lies between a and b then one can find out this probability using distribution function that is probability a less than x less than or equal to b that is equal to f of b minus f of a where a is less than b so these are some of the properties of distribution function thank you so in my next lecture i will explain the concept of marginal distributions